the old van driving, granola eating hippies. back uh, got the old van out again got to do it a few more times before winter hits and I don't know if you guys noticed but we went ahead and slapped the uh, fuzzy dice up in there that were sent in along with our blue valve stem caps all around I think it's looking pretty sweet uh, I need to get my campsite paid for here on this nice old lake and uh, go ahead and get ourselves a fire going. All right, campsite is all legal and paid for. Let's grab some wood. This is from Minnesota. Carpet. Carpet woes. Probably shouldn't have put that right on the carpet. Need to carry around a little tarp or something that I can toss on the floor for situations like that if I need to. We've also got some firewood and whatnot in this tote. Got some of our homemade fire starters. Uh, Mike's wife Brandy actually made this set for me. I gave her some wax and we usually give her our old lint and she'll make a big batch and I'll get them but uh, it's been a while since I've used these it's just dryer lint old candle wax and an egg carton crate they work great well this fire pit's pretty dirty but I think we'll be all right probably should have gathered sticks before I did this start up. Maybe we'll get her to go. See if that'll go. The area down here is pretty pretty picked clean of little sticks and twigs. I think they uh, just came through and mowed this stuff recently, but we should be able to find something. Well, it's not looking too bad already. Last hunk out of my bin. I'd say that's going pretty good. Actually, I should probably open a couple of these windows, get a little bit of air going through here.
All right, tonight, y'all, we're just uh, gonna sip on an old style. I've had these before. I don't think it even says anything on here. Old style Hellman's Classic Lager. Pure, genuine, sparkling, pure spring water. Established 1902. That is a classic beer if you've never had one of these before. With our new Spam Koozie, of course. Pretty good. Can we can get this a little closer actually. <laughs> I did not bring a chair with me. My little chair is stuffed in the truck with some of my other gear like my fishing pole. I do have a lake right here, but uh, wanted to get the van out again and uh, I mean, not much has been done to the truck. I did get it in and I had it undercoated, so it's got the oil spray. Uh, it's a crown coating, it's like a yearly thing. And then other than that, I've just been searching high and low for a new shell for that thing, or like a used truck shell that's appropriate, um, because you need a 2021 or newer. Uh, the 2015 to 2020s look the same, but they're like an inch shorter, I guess, from the research that I've done. Uh, and I'm not having much luck, uh, one, finding a white one, and two, finding one that's at least a mid-rise cap. It's proving to be very difficult. I found one in Texas, and it's the wrong color, uh, but it's the same as my old topper. Um, the only difference is it doesn't have the rails in the roof so that you can add a rack, but that's something I could add in the future. Uh, but a 20-hour round trip, still almost $3,000, and the coat. The quotes that I've been getting for paint is going to be at least a thousand bucks. So that's putting me pretty close to a new one, especially with fuel going back and forth. So it's not really a great deal. Um, I'm, I'm even open to looking at the aluminum contractor caps because uh, you can get those in pretty much any height. Uh, but 99.9% .9 of the ones you find don't have any windows on the sides. They have the toolboxes and stuff in them. Uh, but if you were to order one of those customs from like ARE, the company ARE, you can get it at any height. You can get slider windows put in the back. There's multiple hatch options. Uh, and they do offer one that has a little bit of lining, but you still see all the metal, the aluminum structure in there. So I'm contemplating getting one of those, but then I would have to finish out the inside. Uh, but with the fact that it's just metal, it's, it's aluminum. I wouldn't be so against trying to like put a, a roof vent in it and do some of that other stuff. And I think they're cheaper if you buy them new. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm kind of waiting. I still got to pay taxes and title and license and all that stuff on the truck. So I'm going to get that out of the way first before I go buy anything, especially if I order a new one, which I really, really don't want to do <coughs> right in my face. So fingers crossed I can find a used one before then that's actually white uh, and mid-rise or high-rise or something that fits right. We'll see, but I'm not holding my breath at this point considering how how dismal the search has been going so far. But uh, we'll definitely have that thing ready one way or another for winter. I don't know. It's, uh, it's getting pretty close though. We could, I mean, we could have snow here really any time. This would be pretty early, uh, but we've had snow within in this time period before so we'll see how it all turns out but yeah the hunt isn't going all that great but the beer's good and we got the van out and it'll be nice in there tonight uh, instead of sleeping in a tent so cheers y'all Fire's still raging out here, y'all. 
all, but it started to rain a little bit, and I actually looked at the forecast, and it's, I think it's going to rain for the next couple hours. It's not too heavy right now, but I'm getting soaked after sitting out here for an hour. So I think I'm going to hop in the van. I'll be able to see the fire. Might as might pull this table back a little bit so I can see it better, but not at all worried about it spreading or anything out here, and I'll be able to see it, so. Evo. Even though you guys probably couldn't see any of that, but. Yeah, I dumped all my wood in there, but it's, it's getting me pretty wet, so I think I'm gonna head in and hang out inside for a little while before we get to dinner. wet shoes off. Oof. There we go, a little bit of light. Let me get some more out of here. Maybe a fan. second for the time being Whew. yeah the rains it didn't really show any rain on the forecast so I'm kind of surprised it's happening but uh, it's not too heavy I still got my windows cracked open but I was definitely getting a little wet out there all right slap some pajama pants on and we're gonna get ourselves some dinner going here so tonight uh, I kind of plan to cook this over the fire but we'll be able to do it over the uh, with what I what we have in here I've got a ham steak if you guys can see that uh, and this is fully cooked so that'll lead in to be able to do it in here uh, but everything else we have in this bag, we have spicy jalapeno cheddar flavored hard taco shells from Old El Paso. Uh, I've never had these before. Uh, we've got some stuff for tomorrow morning. And uh, we're gonna make spicy ramen hard shell tacos in the van. So we've got Spicy, hot and spicy firewalk, sizzling rich pork flavor uh, ramen. To go with that, we are going to dump in that ham, it's pork, so pork and pork. We've got some green chili refried beans. We've got some jalapeno cheddar chip dip that we're gonna use and dump on there. And uh, that is it for tonight. But I think it's going to be tasty. So I think what we need to do is get this ramen water done first. I'll just toss this up front. All right. And this. Do we have any silverware in here? fan falls down. All right, what are we gonna do first here? I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, ramen tacos, I made ramen burritos before and they're really good, so I guess we've got multiple cooking surfaces here. Uh, probably just get some water going on this first. Maybe we just use my cooler, it's a little taller. lose my beans all right maybe right here I need water just in my backpack right here we'll figure out how much we need
Probably not. Plastic out first. Almost gets me every time. Save the fire sauce for last. take this ham steak and just chop it up and we'll put it in with the ramen it's already cooked but we'll get the juices and everything in there with the ramen and it should be good it's it's pretty thick it's probably like a half inch thick steak there we're gonna use all of it because I don't want any leftovers so that's probably ready to go already I don't know if this is all going to fit in there. That's boiling hard. That's good ham. I think in order to get this in there, we're gonna to have to try to crush it up a little bit. Trash. Should have probably done this before I put the spices in. Just don't put a hole in it. Definitely got ramen on my floor though. Sweet. on my finger all right another piece of meats here a couple more six more mm. oh. I'm eating for me vacuumed it. That is very full. I didn't quite think it was going to be that full. Let's see if we can shake it up and get some to the bottom. There we go. A little better. This is boiling hard so we'll just go ahead and cover that all up. Let it sit. perfect amount of water. Set that over here because we're going to need this. And we are going to cook these beans <laughs> in our little pan here. And then probably try to mix this all together. Oh, I got a can opener. Hot 
hot sauce. Almost forgot about that. Can opener. beans. I'm going to try to turn this down as low as it'll go. This does have a tendency to burn your stuff if, uh, if you're not paying attention. It's such a concentrated flame on the bottom of there. That's cooking. We'll just let this go until the beans, I feel like, are ready, I guess. A little bit of campfire on the ham steak wouldn't have been bad, though. Turn that off for a second. Let's see how these are doing. drain this. I wasn't sure if I was going to need to drain this or not. Let's see if I can do this. was hot Ooh. that was dumb all right so next step is do we put all of this together and mix it up in one or do we do we add them together one by one i guess we only have two ingredients here i don't even know if this will all fit inside of that bowl i think we just put it all in there we got to add our fire sauce. I don't know if this is all going to fit. <laughs> That's a lot of food there. Oh, that smells amazing. All right. Not looking too shabby. So, yeah, spicy jalapeno, uh, taco shells, I guess, beans on my fingers. I usually always go soft shell. already broken. Whack. I'm going to set that one off to the side. There we go. They're like stand-up taco shells. I'm sure we could make four of them. Don't have any side dish to go with these. Um, I think we'll take this. Should we put the fire sauce? We got to just put the fire sauce in it, right? The fire sauce was supposed to go with the uh, ramen. We're just going to dump it all up in there. There we go. Can't skimp on the fire sauce. It was supposed to be in there. Let's mix that around. Ooh, that smells spicy. That might have been a mistake. 
I'm gonna have hot spots for sure with this mixture. All right. That smells really spicy. That might have been a mistake. And maybe I should have put it on top or not in the burrito, in the taco. I'm used to having burritos. Oh, don't spill it on the floor. Spill it on your pants and then the floor. I almost feel like I need another ingredient, but it's most of the time I put, <laughs> you get full on Cheeto chips, Cheeto chip hands. Uh, most of the time I have like crunchy stuff to put on the burritos that I make. So this is a bit different. The crunch is the taco. <laughs> we are definitely indulging, man. That's a lot. My hands are covered in nacho cheese. Chips, not even sauce yet. But we can't forget the sauce. We're gonna put the jalapeno cheddar sauce on there. It's like a chip dip. Cheating. I'm cheating. Looks pretty amazing now. I don't know what you guys think, but that looks pretty rad. All right, let's give this a shot. That's a good ramen taco. That's got a good kick. Everything is spicy. Spicy shell, spicy cheese, spicy ramen. But I love spicy and that's good. I'm sweating. That was spicier than I thought. Do we try the hot sauce? Ooh, on the last couple. That's spicy but we're gonna give it a whirl. We're gonna try this hot sauce. So I haven't had a new hot sauce in a while, even though I'm already over here dripping. Uh, this was sent in on a live stream. So we're gonna give this a whirl. It's called Bordeaux's, Bordeaux's Pipe Cleaner Red Savina Hot Sauce. It's from the Alligator King. And I hope you guys can see this. There is what I believe is an actual alligator foot dangle off of there uh, on a little key ring red savina I don't know what that's about but I know that there was just a new uh, pepper crown is like the hottest pepper pepper X hottest pepper in the world um, I think the pre I believe the previous record was owned by the same company but it's a Guinness world record for the hottest pepper in the world. We got the top off of there, we gotta shake it up. You gotta do it right. I'm sweating. Those shells are spicy. Spicy jalapeno cheddar, they are spicy. I'll give them that. Ooh, that smells spicy and this is a dabber top. But we'll give it a whirl on our ramen taco here. Uno. That's scary that it's a dabber top. Two, three, four, five drips. All right. With an alligator foot on there. Let's see what this is all about. I could definitely taste that. It's like a darker, definitely a darker sauce. Let's try it again. Make sure we get a drop on there. Mm. 
I can definitely taste the difference. Smoky sauce. I don't know if you guys can see me. I'm just dripping sweat over here. Definitely a deeper, a deeper smoky flavor. Um, I don't know if it says anything on here that I can read with my lighting. No, not really. Just Alligator King. Produced for natural selections. Um, Alligatorking.com. That's good, though. Nice, deep, smoky flavor. But I'm dripping sweat. Those taco shells have uh, more of a kick than you would expect. They're definitely spicier than you would think. Uh, but I'm going to get this finished up and cleaned up. And I'll get back to you guys. I'm on the two beer. It's been a while since I've watched a movie. Oh, I downloaded something new. I've got uh, The Machine on Netflix. It's a Burt Kreischer movie. Um, Netflix, of course, doesn't give me the description. I hate that. Let's see if I can bring this up on my phone. But Burt Kreischer is a comedian. Uh, he's also known as The Machine. He does like He does shows with his shirt off um so bert's drunken past catches up with him 20 years down the road when he and his father are kidnapped by those bert wrong 20 years ago while drunk on a college semester abroad in russia in one of his joke bits or supposedly it's a real life story he talks about this but we'll see what this is about Slept great. Oh. Day old garbage truck just drove through here to pick up the park dumpster, and it was loud. Woke me up. Uh. Oh, I slept really good. It's almost nine o'clock. Uh, when we get up to that lake view out there, it doesn't suck. It's just too bright that way to see it, uh, so you can see the sun. It's popping right in that window. Oh, didn't get cold in here last night at all. With the two windows open, I didn't even break out the sleeping bag. It was about perfect in here. Oh, man. Do some coffee this morning. I did get some instant coffee. Ooh, some fresh air in here. Picked up some of this. Instant coffee, Nest Cafe. I know you guys have uh, mentioned it, that you think it's your favorite instant. I can't say the last time I've had it. I know I've had it before, but I don't know if I've had the Brazil one. And then we're going full on van hippie here. And I got granola. Just something tasty, I guess, to snack on. And mornings like these are the best, I tell you. It's a little chilly. You get that little bit of chill, but it's so perfect out. 
if I had the van turned around and I was sitting in the sun, it wouldn't matter, but. I have to say, I do think it's neat that this is actually still a glass jar. Most companies wouldn't be using glass anymore. I think two big scoops would probably be good in here. Probably plenty. I eyeballed that perfectly. Perfect amount of water. Usually I have to like measure it out. Many times I'll dump the water in the coffee cup, then into here to boil it. That way you don't waste any. You can put your hot water back in your bottle, but you don't really want to do I don't want to do that. Uh, yeah. Proud of myself. Perfect amount of water. Smells appropriate. And some bare naked granola. It's cacao and cashew butter. Uh, I've never seen this, it doesn't look bad. Just something to have in the morning and, and it's resealable so I can just leave it in here. I don't know how long granola stays good. Doesn't it stay good forever? Probably close, anyways. Don't hibernate. Get your paws in it before this date. April 11, 2024. It's kind of funny they put that on the bottom. A little bit of breakfast. A chunk of granola. I don't know what those green seeds are. It's got pepitas, pepitas. I don't know what those are. Don't taste bad though. Cacao. Van driving, granola eating hippies. It's probably too hot to take a drink. I better be careful with that. Burn my mouth. Oh, I'm gonna have to start carrying around a, a stocking cap pretty soon. My bald dome. Screens are still working all right. A um, couple of spots the screen wanted to come off the magnet tape, but I've got an idea how to fix that over winter too. Not really worried about it right now. Besides, I've got bigger fish to fry with that truck and getting it set up in some sort of appropriate way to camp. Uh, it's hot, but it's good. Not too shabby.
I hope you all enjoyed it. Stay tuned for the next adventure. See you again.